Hello everyone, this is I'm Blender Dude, part of Awesome Reloaded, and for the next two weeks or so, I'm actually going to be working on some special effects for a film that I'm in. Uh, for this particular video though, I decided to do a tutorial on how to do some basic Blender video edits because a friend of mine, he's also in Awesome Reloaded, he wanted to help out, wanted to do some stuff along with me to cut down not only on render time but on total time because they're two people working on it. Unfortunately, he said he didn't know much about Blender and couldn't wrap his head around the video editor, so I hope to show you, because it's actually pretty simple what you can do. And of course, because I'm into special effects so much, I'm going to be showing you how you can apply this method to do a simple, very simple, teleport. Alright, so the very first thing that you need to know is your video size and frames per second, otherwise things will get out of sync and of course not the right size. That goes for every video editing program that you have. So, test teleport, it says right here, 1280 by 720 and frame per second is 24 seconds. Alright, so, I then open up my blender And I'm going to turn off my compiz type effects just so I can get a bit smoother. Alright. I don't need the cube. And right here is where I type in the information I had earlier 1280 by 720. I'll make sure that this is up to 100% so that it doesn't just randomly render half the video size, and 24 frames per second is good. Over an output so that it doesn't make the whole video over in our temporary folder. I need to click on the folder and set that to where I want. I'll say desktop is fine. I'll name this tut.avi and accept that. Also, so that it doesn't randomly render several PNGs over in that folder, I'm going to select a video format rather than picture format. I'll say exvid. And I need to go down into encoding to make sure that it doesn't give us some poor quality video. I'll set all of these up, the bit rate, the rate, as high as I can. If you have audio in your video, you want to set an audio codec, possibly PCM, but mine does not have any audio to it. Alright, so that's about all we need to do here. We can then click up here, go down to video editing, and welcome to the Blender's video editor need to go down to add and hit movie. I'll then select the movie in question which you can add as many as you want. If your video has audio there will be a second script green right there second strip. But again mine does not. It has 1335 frames so I need to go down to end and hit 1335. Alright and if I want to see the whole thing I click on the gray circle left click and drag that all the way over there. Alright then. Now, first 10 seconds just still image and that's when he starts to come out. So I'm going to make a cut right there. Give myself three frames. That's all I need. One, two, three. And well, before I do anything else, I need to select the video footage, since I'm going to do a simple cut. In just this footage, I press Shift D to duplicate this footage. Move it up just above, guiding it with a mouse, of course. And have this footage be the exact same length. Alright, I can then go over here, click on the arrow, right-clicking, to select it. Press G to grab it and put that down to where it currently is, which according to down here is 464. That's where it is. Alright, and since I don't need 10 seconds of nothing, I'll just right click on that and bring that down. And to select the video footage itself, the whole thing, I click in the center and I can put that at frame 1. Don't panic, we are doing simple video edits in Blender. Anything's possible. Blender's like a 
how can enough of open source programs really? It's free, so anybody can use it. I'm actually going to be using it for the special effects, as I had said earlier. And I'm just in a bit, I'm going to show you it is possible completely. Anyway, the height of his jump is right here, so that's where I'm going to have him randomly appear. I'll right click on that arrow, bring that down. 551 is where we're at, so I'm going to scale in either by pressing the plus key on the number pad or by using the middle mouse button and scrolling up right there and I'm going to have the video end right about here so I'm going to click on that one again I say right clicking to select and bring it down 576 that's where we are then click in the center to select the whole thing and in case you were wondering the numbers at the top and bottom tell you what frame you're on. Bottom says that's where it starts, top says that's where it ends. So first footage ends at frame 25, so this needs to start at frame 26. I'll scroll in so I can get better control. 26. 6. Okay. And this says that it ends at frame 51, so I'll say to end at frame 51. And now so I won't have randomly black footage in there but now we have done a simple cut video edits however obviously cut is not the only thing that you're going to want to do you want to do like a fade type thing especially for this particular effect so how does one do this? well after a bit of experimenting I've actually found it quite simple for this particular effect I already gave myself three, three frames at the beginning and you can use the same method knowledge to add in like maybe a black screen if you want to fade to black and back out you do anything anyway I'm going to give myself three frames those three frames are the time he's going to fade in then select the whole thing in the center shift right click to select them both go down to add up to effect strip and select gamma cross Caleb is the other guy I've awesome reloaded that actually wanted to do this kind of stuff. We'll now fade in over these three frames. Alright then. And again I say the same logic can be used for any other effect that you want. Fading out, fading in. And of course you, if you want you can add your 3D objects right in here and then hit alpha or add or subtract or whatever but anyway this is exactly what I want it's a nice and simple teleport though no the teleports in the video are not going to look like that you can press control F12 to render the animation that's the shortcut or you can go over here to default scroll up and hit animation if it says there's an error initializing the video stream, don't panic, we just need to go down here and select a different format. I prefer H.264, it appears to have been pretty much uh, bug free or whatever you want to call it. The quality is because of the camera itself. It was completely washed out that day. This is some color correcting that I have actually done here in the blender with the note editor which is another way that you can do some video edits I just prefer to uh, take out the part that I need then run that through the node and then put it back together I'll show you about that in a little bit but anyway once that's gone we are done and it'll appear right there on our desktop Let's see. Oops, I pressed something. And voila! Ladies and gentlemen, we have done some simple video edits in Blender, which can be applied to anything else. Again, I say fade out, fade in, whatever. So, yes. that's the simple ways of doing things if you want to do stuff that's more advanced which is what I'm going to do you can use the node editor to do stuff like this 
Which maybe I should go about this next week or so. But anyway, let me show you real quick and then end the video. Trying to make this quick as possible. Add image. And this is really how. My work will be. For the next however so long. My workflow at least. Is what I meant to say. This is using the new cycles render, which is why it's going through many passes. Well, 10 passes, really not that many, but still. It's then going through the compositor, which is how I'm doing this particular effect, of lightning. If that lightning, I say, looks too wimpy, I can easily go over here and have him do a DBZ type lightning. I'm actually going to be using that kind of method to animate the brightness of the lightning back and forth. And see? Lightning looks even more powerful. Though there are Okay, that's DPC style. But anyway, there are other things that should be affected, more so at least, which can be done with rotoscoping, again, in Blender. But, different video for different time. You guys have happy holidays. I'm going to be working on the special effects. I shall see you next video. Hope this has helped you out. Until then, hasta luego, fue jugar en juego. Porque yo puedo hacerlo.